We'll take that call, and you could be taking your chances because hackers could take your cash. Thieves now dialing up cell phone scams aimed at hacking the online bank account. Scammers are getting account info by making calls and texts that come in looking like they're from a bank. Identity theft expert Robert Siciliano says this is a growing problem. How do they do this, Robert? And uh, uh, They make it look like, oh, this is my bank. I got to open this up. What? So what happens actually is um, with telephone banking, right, you um, make a call to your bank to uh, uh, make some fund transfers, check your balance and so forth, and the bank recognizes your caller ID. They recognize the phone number you're calling from. Caller ID spoofing is a technology that can actually pose as your phone, even your mobile phone. Hmm. And when that occurs, it gives the bad guy some form of access to your telephone banking. So they have that information. This has always been a fear, but I guess what's up the ante now is it's very widespread, right? It's widespread, and what also happens, too, is the criminal is doing their own reconnaissance. They're getting uh, identifying information about you through your social media. They get uh, your mother's maiden name. They get uh, knowledge-based questions that generally are used to reset passwords and to gain access to certain accounts. So whatever information you put on social media can also be used to reset those passwords that can also be used to gain access to telephone and online banking. So your advice would be what? Well, for one, um, change up those knowledge-based questions so you log into different accounts when you forget your password, whatever those questions are. Like if you say, I like cookies, right? What cookies do you like? If you have answers on your Facebook page, you probably want to change that. Other things like get um, security for your mobile phone. You know, antivirus for mobiles now is really important. Uh, your Android operating system is very vulnerable to malware. Uh, and beyond that, just be careful what links you click in SMS text messages and emails that you receive via your mobile phone because they could have links that can infect your phone as well. Do you think people put too much information on these devices? In other words, I mean, a lot of people on, on, on iPhone, iPad, or any of these Android devices, they've got their passwords there. They've got everything there that an enterprising crook, even past cracking your code to get into that phone, if, if people are savvy enough to do that, um, the, everything is there. Yeah, and McAfee just did a study, and 30% of mobile phone users don't even put a lock on their phone, meaning that if they lose it, then somebody has Game full over. access to it. Sure. Yeah, and most of your mobile phones today are used primarily to access your online banking, your social media, uh, your PayPal account, and other uh, financial accounts. So they're used for access and Amazing. to store information, but all that access can compromise those existing accounts. So just be careful. All right, Robert, thank you. Good seeing you again. Nice to see you.